<sighs> well, what's up guys? It's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you can see here, I've actually started really, this is interesting, but I don't, interesting. Uh, I've literally started devouring this lettuce, okay? The more and more I think about it, it's, it's literally the best thing ever. Like, the more and more I think about it, and let me tell you why, but first, let me tell you guys this. My name is Mike, and I am the indoor grower from Grow Indoors 365. If this is your first time joining us, I'm an indoor grower right here on YouTube. I primarily focus on lettuce, indoor hydroponics. If you like what you see, make sure to give me the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. This way you get notifications every single time I upload a video and make sure to hit the links down below. Look at these heads of lettuce. So literally, um, this is one of the initial, this is one of the, uh, one of the grows that I really started to, uh, like, eat a, all the lettuce possible. I literally come down here before dinner or lunch, grab a head, cut it with a knife, go upstairs. I grab like two heads and I mean, there really is an enormous difference um, when I really think about it and I compare the lettuce. I mean, the quality, the taste, the, 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 just, just the over, literally the taste is so different. It just, just tastes so clean. It's really unbelievable. I mean, I literally, I'm, I'm very much behind. I'm very much behind. I told you guys I was going to show you how to clone Let's clone some basil. I don't even want to do that. I want to get all six of these going immediately. I want to get three down here and three up here of brand new lettuce. I, I mean, I don't, what I have back here, I could probably crush this. This is some huge, amazing basil. And I've been actually putting, oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at the stem, by the way. Look at the thickness of the stem. The smell is unbelievable. Wow, and this is... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me finish my thought. I get all excited when I get down here. So yeah, I mean, I, I, what I got back here, I could probably crush it out in the next like two days easy. Maybe one day. I'm trying to really go low carb right now. I started today. <laughs> yeah, I literally started today. I'm tired of, um, I don't know, gain some weight. You know, I had a kid, gain some weight, I'm not going to the gym as often. So I really want to... Uh, really want to cut down on the carbs which is pretty hard today I did okay but then right now I think it's like 8 p.m. and I snuck in like two cookies and some milk which I love but honestly I'm thinking about going more towards like the carnivore diet where it's like a little more meat though before right now I was really I'm not like a huge meat eater but I feel like I'm gonna to have to be eating a little more a lot you know a lot more meat with a mix of veg, maybe some sort of like, like a sausage -y, you know, you put it in the oven with some mixed vegetables and, you know, something like that, but that's, it's going to be a struggle for me, you know, I'm, I love pizza, I can eat pizza every single day and I have done so, uh, but let's get back to the lettuce, if you guys have any comments that you could, any um, supporting uh, words of wisdom for me to really, uh, you know, get the carbs down I really want to get just just better health period um, so I'm really I need to get into exercising back into exercise I used to do so well but after having a kid it's just really hard just getting into the gym what is this I don't even know understand what's even happening right here it's like deformed it's like this crazy node with just a ton of basil it's kind of bizarre Anyway, I've been crushing this lettuce. It's super delicious. I really just I can't get enough. I put a little grilled chicken over it, a little bit of uh, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of uh, and I love a little bit of blue cheese dressing or just like regular nice extra virgin olive oil. And it's unbelievable. I mean, everybody should be growing indoors. Everybody should have their own grow. I mean, I don't even want to mention this on this channel, but hold on a second. Let me turn this camera around. I literally don't want to mention this on this camera, but like, what about all the people in, in Wuhan, you know, um, being isolated in your home, in your apartment, whatever it is, if you had the ability, you know, imagine you having the ability to, 
to grow indoors, which a lot of people do, but imagine you could probably survive on the food that you have and not have to go out and, you know, I don't even, I, I, I don't even want to speak about this, but it's interesting when I think about it, um, you know, what are people doing for food? I mean, people are, could be running out of food in certain areas, regions, however it is broken down. And, you know, pray for everybody around the world that this thing just goes away and gets settled. But, you know, it's really important to prepare in a sense. God forbid in any situation that you might have that you're going to need to rely on your own food source. This isn't sustainable, but let me tell you, if the electricity stays on, this is sustainable, okay? In this situation, all you need is some plastic, some water, and some seeds, and a couple other elements. And I mean, you have yourself food. Like, you could grow your own food indoors. You don't have to go outside. You don't have to rely on other people. You don't have to rely on other sources to support you and your family when it comes down to food. Can you live off of lettuce? Eh, it's going to be tough, but it'll definitely fill you up. You know what I mean? And it doesn't mean that you only have to grow lettuce. You could grow a lot of other nutritional greens. I've grown kale. I'm going to try again. I just got to get some fresh seeds, but... I only grow what I primarily consume. That's why you see a majority of the time, you see a ton of basil, which I don't even consume that much. But I just kind of like grow it because I think it's beautiful. It smells nice. It keeps pests away. And I also give it to my nanny because she likes basil. <laughs> but I've always grown basil. I've always been fascinated with it. I think it's beautiful. And uh, I actually have been, you know, taking a couple leaves here and there and dropping it into my salad. Uh, it's actually really good for the lungs. It's just good overall. It's a, a good nutritional plant. Beautiful and green. But hopefully I'll get some other plants going. And I, I, It's just so much work. You guys don't understand. Unless you're growing, then you know. If you're not growing, you just don't know. Filling up one of these. Okay, first of all, i got to go up and down the stairs multiple, multiple times just to fill up one of these containers. It's a pain in the butt, let me tell you that. Then I gotta, you know, germinate each seed. Then I gotta set it all up. It is such a process. That's why it's difficult. That's why I don't have as much content as I would want, you know. That's why I go on these rants when I'm down here because I'm really excited and I want to do all these things. It's just so much work with a child, with everyday work, with every day running around errands, it's really difficult. But I'll tell you this, it's super rewarding. Okay, when I come down here and I cut this lettuce, like literally today for lunch, I came down here during my lunch break, I came down here, I grabbed the bushel, boom, cut it, grabbed another one, cut it, and I came upstairs and I chopped it up and I made this salad. And I looked at it and I said, wow, I have this super delicious green I don't know about how much nutrient is in this type of lettuce, but clean, clean. You could rip this off right here and just chomp on it. You could chew it. You could do whatever you want. You could juice it. And it's beautiful and it's clean. It's, there's no dirt. There's no insects. Nothing. And it's amazing. And literally, if you put in the consideration, it costs a fraction of pennies to grow. But it's difficult because life gets in the way. But... When you're in survival mode and you need to get something like this up, it's it's no doubt the best way to do it. Um, so hopefully you guys have been setting up. I've been talking to a number of you guys through the comments, through the Facebook, and you guys are excited. You guys are starting your grows. You guys got the light. You guys got the 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 um, uh, the, the storage thing here, which is the shelf the shelving the metal shelving. Uh, you have the containers. The pump, the fan, everything. Everything is linked down below. But you guys are getting all this because you see that I'm, I'm showing you how easy it is to literally be able to grow. It's over here. It's not bad. It's, 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 been, it's been kind of a up and up on the uh, weather, you know, uh, for all you guys in the States. You know that Bucks Tony Phil had mentioned that it will be an early spring, which I am super stoked for. Uh, I'm so done with winter, but I saw on the forecast that it's potentially going to snow in the next like week or so. So I'm not really excited about that. I'm just telling you, I'm trying to move to Florida or something where the weather is just beautiful every single day. I can grow watermelon, 
I wonder, can you grow watermelon year round? If you know the answer to that question, please leave me a comment down below. I really want to know if you could grow a watermelon year round. I mean, overall in Florida, I mean, it gets a little probably cold at night, maybe cold in the, very early in the morning, but overall, it's pretty stable between, I don't know what, 70 and 80, maybe 85, I don't know. In the summers, it's probably much hotter, but you know, it's awesome. You could totally grow all that stuff. So anyway, let me uh, turn this camera back around, just talk to you guys for one last second. Uh, thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to hit that bell so you can get notification every single time I upload a video. I try to just show you guys what I currently have and the excitement that I have for growing indoor. And I am truly excited because uh, every time I'm down here, I'm like just like ranting on and on and on and on. So hopefully my next video, I'm gearing up and uh, probably this will all be cleared out by my next video and I will be showing you some of the lettuce or any type of whatever that I'll be growing down here uh, real soon because I'm definitely excited. I'm excited to try a new diet and I'm just going heavy on the salads and that's really it guys. So thank you so much for tuning in and uh, make sure to subscribe, give me the thumbs up and hit the links down below and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.